All right, we're going to take a look at an additional piece of software that you got. Uh, it's in, found in the Start menu under a folder called GraphTech Cutting Plotter Controller. Let's click on that. What I'd advise you to do here is uh, choose the manual, open it up, and print it out. It's a pretty small manual, so you can read about what this does uh, and get all the flavor of the options. But if you choose the Cutting Plotter Controller, it'll start a software that's designed to help you change some of the settings on your cutter. Now initially when it starts it'll say CE5000 in your model and it says use plotter settings. So in other words the force and the speed and the quality is being set physically. You're actually going to the cutter itself and changing the, the settings. Uh, but you can actually turn this on and change the settings directly from here. In other words if I have indoor vinyl I could change and say edit that condition. I want it to be a certain force or I want it to be a certain speed or something like that. I want it to cut it faster or slower. Maybe I want to test, tend to test a cut out, not just one square, but uh, you know, five squares. Two with a little more pressure and two with a little less. I can set the force a little more accurately. You can do that right from here. See? You can also uh, take this graphic and uh, move the cutter head if you want to, reposition it on the vinyl and set a new origin location if you wish. Down at the bottom here, you see uh, I'm designing in my software in landscape, so I want it to cut in this orientation. Here's my origin. But, uh, you know, I can click over here and change the ori origin location, as well as the, uh, the way that things look uh, or they act on the cutter. I can do it right from here. I can even uh, set up registration marks. In other words, I can say here's the type of registration mark I want to use, and I want to use this kind of length and thickness and so forth. It's nicely done. Uh, helps me with my contour cutting, my kiss cutting, and so forth. Very nicely done. Turn that off. Uh, there's also two other options here. Uh, on the Options button, I can work in millimeters or inches. And in the Advanced tab here, I can actually go and change some advanced things. I would suggest you not change these unless advised to do so. But I wanted to show you the full scope of what you're getting here uh, with this software. Very, very nicely done. <coughs> And uh, so I would, how would I use this? Well, normally I would leave it on plotter settings and just go to my cutter and make the changes there. But I might want to actually go to use cutter uh, settings here and uh, where it says list edit. These are lists of all the materials I'm cutting to. I'm going to make a nude material. Maybe I'm going to cut, uh, you know, t-shirt material. You know, just name it any way you want assign the cutting uh, forces that you need. You, know, you would do a test cut and so forth. How fast do you want to cut it? Maybe uh, somewhat slow. Uh, change the quality here. Leave the offset. Do some test cuts. Then just click OK and that's been added. And if you if you close this now, what happens is it'll actually add that to the list over here. And uh, you would just have to click on that and you would set it up when you cut your t-shirt material. That's going to set up the actual cutter and make it cut with this condition. Uh, then when I need to cut some indoor vinyl, I switch back to here, switches it right back. So you're changing the conditions with software rather than doing it on the actual cutter itself. Thought you'd like to see this, uh, read about it, read the manual. I think you'll be able to use it uh, very effectively.